Yo, what is up guys? It's me, Only One Shock, back at it again. Well, actually not back at it again, because this is my first video playing Ark. Now, I've been playing Ark for a decent amount of time, and this is Ark Mobile. You can get it in the App Store, and I assure you, this is not a sponsor. You can get it in the App Store, or like, I don't know, whatever device you're on, just check out the store, and if it's there, then hooray. And it's free. Now, I don't think it's free on non-mobile devices like a computer or the ps4 or whatever those i'm pretty sure you have to pay money for but i will be basically teaching you guys on like basically everything you need to know from level one to level 20. okay so this is what happens so let's just go in an, um in an unofficial server now if you want to join the server i'm on you just press play i play multiplayer not an official server play multiplayer you go to Hang on, just, it's, I don't know what it's doing, it's, okay, there, Northern Plains, easy NA. This is the map that, well, this is the, um, the server that I've chosen. Now, if you do want to join, you can just go right here, let me show you. I'll show you on the map where to spawn in, and then you can spawn there, so... You want to spawn right where I am. You see that arrow that's like spinning in circles on like the middle of just, do you see it on the blue bits? Yeah. Okay. There. Yeah. Okay. So you want to spawn there and say like in the global chat, just say, Hey shock. I want to join the club or the tribe or whatever you want to call it. And you know, you can, you can join. So that's the server that I'm in. You can join it. It's awesome. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to teach you guys from when you spawn in. Now you can play solo, but I would suggest not to because you can't play with others. You can't, if you have a friend that plays, like say you've been playing for a year and you're solo, well then your friend wants to play with you. Well, you can't because, well, you can if you upload it for people to play, but it's, um, you have to pay money. To upload, so let's just go on this one, which there's like, yeah, there's like, well, that's actually a lot of teams, but let's just join in. All right, so this is what happens: you choose your guy, so it's there. All right, let's go. So this is where you want to spawn, okay? This is where you want to spawn if you want to join, like the tribe that I'm in. I'll be more than happy to invite you in. So you spawn in, okay? So now that you've spawned in, okay, this is actually. This is a glitch that's been going on. It's very annoying. It doesn't spawn you where you choose. So I actually chose to spawn there, but it didn't. And if this does happen, just look on your map to see. And just wait for it to render you in. Okay, I'm not there. I'm not where I want it to be. Which is very annoying. I don't know why. I don't know, like, why they haven't fixed it. But, like, it's just, it's been here for a decent amount of time. It's kind of annoying. But uh, if you can just, if you don't really die and you have a bed... You'll be all good. So, basically, this is what starts off. You want to grab a pickaxe. That's what you can start off with. So, you want food, you want a pickaxe. And once I get all that, let me explain. Let me cut down the street. Wow, this is actually taking a long time to cut down. Okay, so, this is how it works. You can watch ads to get, um, to get amber and amber is like um a currency however it does not like go from game to game now you can get you can get tons of stuff tons and i mean tons of few things you can spend money on but you can spend money to get amber which i don't know i wouldn't suggest it because you can easily get it now if you saw i actually went up a level so let me just show you what happens when you go up a level your voice starts choices now i would suggest health at start now that i am one level higher of health now now okay <laughs> you can pick up your poo yeah it's very funny but just very useful for plants like for crops now if you see this blue fish don't go in that water whatsoever now this is an obelisk and an obelisk is like a bit of an advanced thing yeah it's very interesting basically you can like go into you can spawn into dungeons you can resurrect things you can do all this cool stuff in it but you can't build there if it's on online server. If it's your own personal server, you can, but you can't if not. Alright, so. 
Elsa, you may be wondering if you've joined and you just like, you know, you're going by a day and you're like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why have I spawned on the beach? Why do I always spawn on the beach? I don't want to spawn on the beach. I'm sorry, but you kind of have to because here's how it goes, okay? You spawn on the beach so that because you have to pick up stones. You have to pick up one stone to make a pickaxe. And if you spawn, I don't know, like down there, there's no, there's not going to be any stones because they only spawn. Um, okay, where are these small animal feces coming from? Um, they only come from these tiny stones they can pick up, which with your hands. Now this, okay, this is actually a very annoying creature. I mean, it's good because you can put a platform on it, but let me just, um, okay, dodo. So dodos are the, practically the most useless pet you can ever get. So let's just, where do you go, okay. Alright, so once you kill them, you can get your pickaxe, and you can farm them, and you get resources, you know. Now, is this is a Dilophosaurus, yeah, so a Dilophosaurus, well, a Diplodosaurus. It's kind of annoying to pronounce, but a Diplodosaurus. Um, that is interesting. It's a very interesting creature. It doesn't harm you, it pushes you, and it gets angry if you go near it. You just need to say, you just say hello. Like, it's angry at you. It's a very rude creature, you know. Yeah, it just gives some time. Um, alright. And you also have hunger, you have thirst, you can get too hot, you can... There's a, it's very realistic, but at the same time, I mean, come on. Like, there are T-Rexes in this game, which is sick. So, once you finish killing your dodos, you have hide, you have meat. You can just eat the meat if you don't cook it, whatever. But I would suggest cooking it. Now, if you just spam this button, all you can hold if you want to eat. Now, if you look at a hunger bar below, there is the food. Like, that's how much food you have. Alright, so I'm going to show you settings that I would suggest to you guys. So, firstly, you want to go control, and you want to go hotbar layout, layout on screen. That This is this layout, or else then it turns like this on the other side. That's very, very, very hard to play. Especially if you're just quickly turning, like, say you're taming something, and you quickly use your, your gun to shoot it. And then you want to quickly switch to something else and then you can't now these guys are extremely annoying there are dilophosaurus there's a diplodosaurus there's a diplodosaurus and then there's the dilophosaurus very interesting names but yeah that's the same right, so now it may crash on official servers because there's so much stuff the thing about official servers is you can trade with people you can talk with people people can help you you can do a lot of things that you can't do on an unofficial server or on a solo world. And on an unofficial server, it's kind of hard to play, and you know that one day they'll just stop. Like, the people will. They're not gonna pay forever, you know? So, that's the thing. Alright, now I actually got it unconscious, but for some reason it didn't, didn't let me, like, actually use it. Now, I'm gonna teach you on how to tame something now. Now, this is the t taming stage. Taming is very fun but annoying at the same time. So taming, you're gonna need the food it gets. Now you can get a kibble, which is like a brown. It kind of looks like a dump, but it's like it's very specific. The detailing. Um, so you can get a club. You can knock it out. Now as you progress, there are better things they can use to knock them out. Now I'm almost dead. So honestly, uh, let's just look at these dodos. <laughs> these dodos are gonna be so easy to tame. So what you want to do is you want to go right up to them. Okay. Just quickly, you know, just quickly get my stamina back. Now, be aware some things do rot, such as, like, food or, like, um, from killing penguins you get organic polyamar. That rots. You can't eat it, though, but... Okay, so now that I have this unconscious, it says put invent put food in its inventory to tame. So I'm just going to put major, major berries, which is actually the pink one, which is what they like. Now, if it's going to wake up, as you can see, the pink bar, if that, if that, like, um, it... Like, um, like if it, if there's no longer any pink, that means it wakes up. If it wakes up, that means that all your work is gone. So at the start, the blackberries do not eat them and the white berries do not eat them. So the blackberries are good for consciousness. So just feed it to it. And if you look, it's torpor is going up. So it's torpor is how long it's going to stay up, stay awake. And also there are missions. Missions are so useful. Um, just the, it'll give some... Give us some time to give you some missions. Now, there is a lot of crap here. I think it's because I've eaten a lot. Okay, two pursuits available. So let's check these out. I'm assuming it's going to be Tame Dodo and something else. Um, How do you do? Okay, that's an interesting mission. Um, 
that's just wave at people. You can only do that on online servers. Alright, so let's just put in food in this inventory. Um, okay. So now it's food in this inventory. I've now tamed a dodo. Now, a dodo is like a chicken in this game. Now, they can lay eggs if they're a female. Now, be aware, in this game, they can mate, and then you can breed them in, they can multiply. So, with its eggs, what you want to do is you want to get a male and a female, and then you be in a tight area, and neighbor wandering, and they both tame. Now, I'll show you that in a sec in a different server, but for now, I'll just show you this. So, you can you can customize how, full, how far you want to follow. You can customize its name. You can customize its targeting range. You can customize what it does. You can customize... You can kill it, you can spray it. Now, spraying it is... You don't spray it unless you know what you're doing. So, spraying it... Well, it's actually spay. When you spay it, you're basically making it where it can't breed. It can't, like, mate. So, that means that if you're breeding it, then... Like, it's good to spay it so that they can't breed it. If it's, like, a really rare dinosaur... Like a Gigasaurus, and you so they can't breed it, and then be a competitor if they breed it and then sell it, and then that's what you do. Then you just gave yourself a competitor. So and also you can level up their stats, which is really cool. And why is it taking so many craps, bro? I've actually, yo, <laughs> um, what? That's very interesting. Alright, well, and also another thing you can see. Another thing is you can pick them up. So, crouch, that just makes you go smaller. Photo mode. <sighs> emotes, you can do like emotes. Drop, you can well, drop it. Uh, whistle, you can whistle. And inventory, you can access your inventory. So, I will show you what breeding is and how you can do it. And the best ways to do it. The easiest ways to do it. And, yeah. Right. So, I'll jump into my world that I'm in. Well, it's not my world, but it's a world. Okay, hang on, it's just glitching out a bit. There we go, okay, cool. So, remember, PvE, Northern Plains, and it's easy. Like, and it's easy, so it's like the easiest it gets. Now, there is one more game mode that's, well, choice that is easier, where you get to keep everything in your hopper, and it just crashed. Um, so, practically... Like, unofficial servers, they never go. They're always going to be there. It's like they've been there from since day one. But, of course, official servers... Sorry, no. Unofficial servers go. Official servers don't. So that's why you want to be on an official server, because it's way better. Now, yes, it is more crowded, but at the same time, that's a good thing, because you can make friends, you can get a higher club. Now, there are downsides, like there's less resources, because people farm them. But don't worry, they respawn. Alright, so... Let me show you what mating is. Now, you can also have, like, this is, a, this is like an RG. Now, this is a bird, and it's, like, currently growing up, and that's what happens after they mate. So, here's, like, two Rexes. Now, can they mate? No, they cannot. Okay, so in six hours. So basically what you want to do is you want to enable, enable them for, to be both wandering and once they're both wandering then well then you just whistle you quickly no you can't put them in a tight area and then enable wandering and then they'll lay an egg in no time or if it's a mammal then it just it takes then it is basically pregnant and then it gives birth soon but for a non-mammal like t-rexes that lay eggs then basically what you want to do is once they lay an egg it's a fertilized egg and what you want to do is you want to get that fertilized egg put it between campfires standing torches or in air conditioners now air conditioners are, air conditioners are great because it's it's consistent and it's really 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 useful for taming now okay he just took a crap <laughs> all right so what you want to do is, if you enable them to both be wandering, then that means they'll wander around. But if you want them to stop, you've got to whistle stop. So you've just got to constantly whistle all stop. And just constantly whistle this. Now, that is mating. So, like, it's very useful. Now, what creatures can farm stone? Well, like... 
um, like early on tames and really good farmers, I would suggest. So, a T-bird, which is what I call for this guy. This is like, it looks like a T-rex with feathers, so that's why I call it a T-bird. But, there's this guy. Now, this guy can actually farm... This guy can farm metal. This guy can farm rocks, which is really, really nice. Now, T-rexes are fighters. This guy is actually a wood farmer, which is really, really cool. So, a wood farmer is basically... When it cuts down a tree, you can either get thatch or wood. Now, the thing is, most creatures farm thatch. Now, let me give you an example. The woolly rhino farms thatch. Um, so, let me just show you. As you can see, he farmed more thatch than wood. Now, let me just access the inventory and you'll see more thatch than wood now that means that he's a thatch farmer not a wood farmer that means he's a thatch farmer and most creatures are actually thatch farmers but very few of them such as the beaver woolly mammoth not rhino woolly mammoth and also the t-bird there is all wood farmers now i'm pretty sure there are more there's like a few more but honestly like it's not that necessary to tame those are just like the easiest ones to tames to tame um, alright, so, another thing you want to do is pursuits. Now, pursuits are like your missions. Now, you always get a daily mission. So, you know, let's just see what today's mission is. Now, normally they're hard, but they give amber. And remember what I said about amber, it's very, very useful. So, collect 50 black pearls. Okay, if you're not aware, black pearls are very hard to get. And by very hard, I only have two. And you, it's very, very, very hard to get black pearls. Basically, you have to kill sea creature that's really deep or go fishing so that's really tough now every single day they change now there's like all these missions like how do you do you just wave to a certain amount of people there's hunt um this is actually kill 100 250 dodos don't know why but it's that the grand voyage just going around so basically like there are some missions that are really really good but there are some missions that are really really bad like some of them take forever to do now keep in mind if you start a mission and you're halfway through it and you die that mission has resetted it's reset it, it, it just is so and as you can see there are two ads i can watch i can either add a well i can watch both of them actually there's three there's the watch the free gift watch to get amber or watch to get double xp for a certain amount of time now i would highly suggest grind those all now, that's very good, a good way to get XP. Now, another tip is to get armor. Now, don't get thatch pants clothing, or actually, I don't... I actually never really got these. I don't know why they're here. But, yeah, never, ever unlock these. Never unlock them. Now, if you do and you regret it, then no worries. You just save off for 20 amber. You just go in the chef station, which is 20 amber. And I'll show you where it is. It's just chef stations and chef or stations and it's just chef station for 20 amber. Now you may be like, yo, shock, that's so much to save up for. Just grind out the ads and it won't take long. So, mind wipe. The mind wipe drink is so good. Basically, it resets all your levels and all of the engram points that you have gotten or lost. And. Basically, you just get to restart with that. Now, you do get to keep all your XP and how many you've gotten. You just get to re-choose them and choose them more wisely. Now, let me show you something awesome. Now, this is a pteranodon. A wild pteranodon in its natural habitat. Now, let me show you what a flying creature can do. So, there are flying creatures, which I would highly suggest to get a flying creature. ASAP. Now, what you want to do is, if you're on an official server... What you want to do is you want to get an, uh, a Pteranodon because you unlock the saddle at level 38. However, I don't have one. I've, I've got one, but I don't use it. I use the RG, which is like a giant bird. Now, this is really, really good. But the thing about um, flying is it's so much freedom in the game. Like, I can get from here to here. So, I would highly suggest to get the Pteranodon. Tame it as soon as possible. Get I'll In fact, you know what? I'll tame one right now. So what I'll do is I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend I'm one of you guys, you know, just starting off trying to tame one. So what we want to do is now obviously I'm gonna use 
the... Okay, not happy about that, but whatever. Okay, so I accidentally clicked on that ad, which is very common, but as you can see, I have unlocked the baller. Now, I just learned it now. Now, I don't use it. Alright, we're back from accidentally watching that ad once again. Now, it didn't give me the free reward. I don't know why, but anyway, who cares? Now, I'm going to be making this baller. So, let me just drop off this loot here. Alright, so basically, ballers are really, really good because you can stop creatures from flying. Now... Thatch, wood, and stone, and fiber. So, yeah. Oh, and a bit of hide, too. Alright, now... Alright, cool. So, we have now a baller. Now, a baller, honestly, don't need it, but I'm just doing it for you guys. Because you guys will definitely need this. So, let's actually... For the video, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to eat... I'm going to quickly buy one of these. Now, these... Make it where you can see at night time. So I'm going to just eat one of these. Alright, now I can see at night time. Just, just to make it a bit easier for the video, you know. Now, refrigerators, just in case you're wondering what it is. It's just... Um... It just basically stops things from rotting. That's purely it. That's like its only use. But, okay. So, we have our balls. Now let's go tame a... Tyranodon. So, basically, I'm... Not gonna edit this, edit this part out because I'm gonna help you guys find, like I'm gonna tell you guys the best way is to find them. Now they normally spawn on the beach, and if there's one here, what you wanna do is you just wanna wait for it to come down. It may take time, but once they come down, it's really really rewarding. So, um, it it will come down eventually. So okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this. We're gonna go up. We're going to scout out a bit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's this? What's this? It's turn it on. All right. So I need to find that one that's on the ground. See, there's, there's pteranodons everywhere. Honestly, they're like one of the most common creatures in the game. Now, it just requires patience whenever taming one because like they stay in the air for a decent amount of time. So it just practically requires patience. Um... Oh, that one's getting really, really high. So, let's just... Uh, okay, let's... Let's go for this on down here. Okay, so... Practically, whenever you... When, the first thing you do for getting a... Oh, it's landing. Now, first thing you want to do for your... Tyranodon... Okay, let's throw it. Boom! Okay, so now it's it can't move. It pr practically just can't move. Alright, that was easy. You just need to throw it, and it... Oh, wait. Now, what it eats is, it eats meat. Now, meat is super easy to uh, obtain. And so let's just quickly grab some meat and biotoxin. And then after that, I'll just... I'll meet you guys at the end where it's tamed. So let's just grab this biotoxin you get from killing jellyfish, those blue glowy things in the... Oh, actually, we have tons of prime fish. Let's use that. Now, you get it from killing these jellyfish. So... Uh, they're, like, blue and glowy, and they stay next to the shoreline like really really close to the um like really close like really shallow water so now that i've put biotoxin now biotoxin has 80 tall pores so once down once this gets down to 80 what i'll do is i'll increase it that's what you want to do now for you guys you probably have narcotics or blackberries so just feed a ton until so you just make sure it doesn't wake up so, one prime meat will give... Okay, so it'll take a bit of time. So, honestly, guys, I'll see you there. Alrighty, we're back. And the Tyranodon has almost been tamed. Now, before it gets tamed, let me just say, it's not pronounced per Tyranodon. It's to pronounced Tyranodon. Just for the people, the P is silent, okay? Okay, just, let's just keep that coming. Alright, so, we have the Tyranodon tamed. Now, after this video, of course, I'm going to unclaim him. Because, why not? Actually, I might keep him. Uh, you know, comment down below a good name if you have a good name. And if you did not, well, 
But comment down below a good name if you have one. So let's just uh, whistle stop because right now he's wandering. Alright, now let me whistle follow one. Alright, let me now let me bring in my RG. Cool, okay. So now he's following me, so let's just land him over here if he is. And there is a Tyrannodon just chilling in my base. Wow, that's great to me. Kind of just whistled it to stop. What is it doing? Alright. Oh. Okay, um. Alright, so there is the Tyrannodon. So now let me make a saddle for it. Um. Let me just put the stuff in the chest real quick. <laughs> Now, if you're wondering how I got all this meat, well, I just did fishing. That's practically it. There's not really much of a secret. I just did fishing. All right, so, now, as a tip, as another tip, do not, and I mean don't, okay? Do not, um, don't level up your levels on food. Do it on water, I would suggest. I would suggest, like, buffing, like, one or two on water but don't do any on food because food you just keep on you like you know it's not really like something you just have at home or something you you need to keep food on you at all times so let's just grab 75 chitin now for the people that for the haters it's i pronounce it chitin okay that's me i pronounce it chitin you can pronounce it chitin if you want but i Personally, me, I pronounce it kind, okay? And also, earlier in my video, I was saying how poo is um, useful. Now, this is how it's useful. I have plants, I just chuck it in there, and now it's gonna help it grow. So, pretty simple. Always keep your, um, whenever there's feces, always just take them. So, he has a level. Now, I would suggest stamina on Tyrannodons because they're pretty fast in general. You can add more um, speed. But I would suggest do like one or two, actually no, like five. First five stamina, then weight, then speed. Go with speed last. So basically, it's just it's an okay flyer. Now how to how to grab stuff? You want to just um just slide up, um slide up like your thumb on the left side of the screen. All right, so. You can only like grab like dodos or something, like only dodos, Dilophosauruses, and if you can you, yeah, like you can't even carry. Oh wait, well, no, you can. Yeah, so you can carry this. This is like the biggest it gets. Oh no, Dilophosaurus. Yeah, the Dilophosaurus is the biggest it gets, and I show. So basically, this is what you want. You just want a flyer. Now, now you may be like, hey, yo, shot. Sure, you do. My man, my man. I don't have. I'm not on level 28. I haven't unlocked it. What could I possibly do? Well, fear not, because honestly, here's here is where I come. If you're in this world, what just happened? I accidentally just watched an ad, but you know, I skipped it for you guys. Alright, so second level, let's upgrade stamina. Third level, let's upgrade stamina. Fourth level, let's upgrade stamina. Fifth level, let's upgrade stamina. Then I'll focus on weight. But honestly, this Tyranodon, Tyranodons are useful for speed. So I mean, I guess it's good to do like cave runs if anybody wants to do like a cave run with me. So let me show you a Quetzal. So this is a Quetzal. Now Quetzal is a ginormous fly. It can hold a lot and whatnot. You can have a platform saddle on it. It's practical. Now if you're not aware of what a platform saddle is, well, okay. Um, if you're not aware of what a platform saddle is, it's practically just, um... It's practically like this, this foundation, but like bigger around. Now, speaking of platform saddle, I will be making a video soon of me taming, and also in that video, getting the platform saddle for, where is it? Where is it? It's, is this the, no, no, um, it's a platform, hang on. Where is the Bronto platform saddle? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Bronzo Platform Saddle Journeyman. Now, that's 100 armor, which, I mean, it doesn't really need it. But the Bronto Platform Saddle 
journeyman. I just need 500 more, um, like, points, which is only 40 amber, and then I'll have 100 to left, like, left over, but that's only, oh, wait, no, I wouldn't even have 100 left over. Oh, I'll use up all the 1,000. So that'll be 40 amber, and then I can do that. And once I get a Bronto, I can have a platform set up, which you can practically, like, build a home and whatnot. However, there are limo structures, which kind of sucks. Now, once again, another level. What are we going to do? We're going to do... No, we're not going to do health. We're going to do stamina. Stamina. Now, did you really think I was going to do health? Nah, nah. I ain't doing health, man. Do not do health whatsoever on a Tyranodon, unless it's PvP. Now, let me teach you another awesome trick, and then that'll wrap up today's video. So, another really, really sick trick that you can do is this. Now, you guys don't have this right now for your settings. If you've started out, which is probably why you're watching this video. Um, if you've started out on Arc. Now, this is, you double tap. No, 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 no. Double tap, there are two ways. You can double tap where you can tap, like, like twice tap once and then again or you can get two fingers and tap at the same time and then that's where you get the the second one you tap two fingers on the on the left side of the screen and then you get that now yo shock um i've tried that before you do right that didn't work okay understand understandable understandable let me uh just show you how to do it now i, I don't personally do it it's only good for like pvp you know just dodging shots and whatnot you just want to go here you want to go to game settings and you want to go Right, multi tap, reload, alt, attack two, boom. You you're welcome. And you just double tap, well, the double finger tap, boom. You've got it. Now it drains your stamina big time, but I mean it's it's cool ish. Now let me show in action in just killing this creature. Ooh, it's a turtle. So it dealt like what a hundred damage. Yeah, it's all like a little bit under a hundred damage. Yeah, it's not that good. That's why I don't suggest it. Whoa, we're already out of stamina. Would you look at that? Oh, the torpor! Oh my goodness, the torpor of it is so high. Oh no, let's quickly get out of here. Just quickly use this base. <laughs> don't mind me. Um, uh, and you can do that now. The torpor. You don't want to faint, so if you've run out of stamina, don't move. If you've been hit, you're probably gonna get you're probably gonna die depending on how many times you get hit by a spider, um, a spider, a scorpion, or a few other creatures like snakes. Or I don't know about centipedes. Now another level. What are we gonna do? Say it with me. We're gonna upgrade stamina. Yep, we're gonna upgrade stamina again. So, we're just going to grind out stamina, and then I'll do weight. I'll do, like, three weights, and then I'll do speed. Or maybe I'll do speed first. You guys comment down below what you want me to do, and I can do it. And also, Trinodon. Dude, we need a better name. So, comment down below a good name for the Trinodon. I don't care what name it is. If it gets, whichever one gets the most likes, and no, I'm not just going to like one. Whichever one gets the most like likes, and it's a comment, I will be putting down the Trinodon. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you did enjoy, and if you did not, well, I'm sorry. But I have tons of awesome videos on my channel, such as for Brawl Stars, uh, Fortnite, Ark, and some other games. So check them out if you want to. If not, that's cool. Anyways, 